Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Route1FM. And I'm going to start today's video on a little bit of a sad note. Now, if you've seen my Twitter feed on the early part of the week, I was getting job offers, shall I say, going for interviews at the likes of Bolton, Cardiff, Ipswich, um, I've had a job interview at Leeds, Forest Green. I was a, quite a talked about manager since the uh, start of season four at, here at Wrexham. And I think the board got a bit um, annoyed with me with being touted for all this, all these jobs. Um, I was also being linked with the Middlesbrough job teams in the championships i was doing a really good job where i was and i had wrexham in the playoff position when i obviously at the time of my last game as you've probably seen i was sacked from wrexham so my last game was a game against coventry which we won one nil and it wasn't enough to keep me in a job to be honest i what did i do wrong the board the new board, shall I say, because Ryan Reynolds and his consortium left at the start of season four, a new board come in and they wanted stability. They didn't want me to be talented. So I have left. So I've been jobless. I've been jobless from the end or middle of November. And it's taken me now till March to find a new home shall we say and again over the time that i was off i was getting asked if i wanted jobs in the national league i was getting jobs offers in the championship i had two successful interviews with ipswich town they were looking at me but this club actually took my fancy with what they could do and a little bit of story behind it as well so Without further ado, my new club in the latter part of season four, shall we say, is this team. We are here at Sunderland AFC. We find them 20th in the championship. Now, I've had a few games with them to see how I can get on with them and what I need to do. So we'll go into that our media prediction here in the latter part of the season is 19th we sit at 20th at the minute so we still sit above the relegation area um training facilities four star youth facilities four star finances three star reputation three star so it is a we've built on our time at Wrexham we've now come in and to hit the ground running here at Sunderland now here at Sunderland, we it's going to be a little bit of a rebuild, and we're going to go and have a look at the team at the minute to see what I've done. So we've got goalkeeper Daniel Bakeman, the Austrian. He's getting to his age. He's thirty. I don't see him being my number one, but who knows? We've got Niall Huggins as well. He's a Welsh right back. Also with Jay De Silva, who's another Welsh left back. So two Welsh left, right and left backs. We've got Michael Keane in there, the former Man United Everton player. We've got a lone player, Victor Christ, um, Leighton Clarkson, Dwayne Neal, even Sanchez, 32 years old. I've put him on the transfer list, the Spanish international. He was a pawn at my side last season. So we've got, there's a lot of work here to do. People like Kieran Down, um, Max Dean's on loan, Vicer's on loan. We've got a few loan players. So we've had to look at it and go, right, what do we need to do? So my first port of action coming into the black cats here at the stadium light what a fantastic stadium it is if you've been oh you it it is fantastic so i will say the whole look of it so 
what we had to do was build on what we've done previously at Wrexham. So I dipped into the transfer market. Now I started with a five million pound budget. So, and what I've done, I've gone to Man City. I bought in this guy, James Trafford. He's joining in the summer. He's dubbed to be the next David Seaman, if I can find it. Um, scout report, no. Form, no. So it's not on there. But he, when I looked at him, he was dubbed to be the next David Seaman. So he's a, a similar type player to Edison as well. So he will come in as my new first choice goalkeeper. He's two star there. He's got potential to go more. So I looked at him. He's coming. He's cost me a total of four and a four hundred and fifty thousand pounds. I've gone back to Wrexham. I've bought in Joe Lewis. So people will remember him from the save. He got in to the Welsh national team in League Two. So I've brought him in. He does well for me. He can play anywhere along the back. So that's a really good shout. He wanted to go further into his career. career £425,000. I've gone in and got the creative midfielder, James Jones from Wrexham. He was brilliant for me, starting to score. He was my club captain. So he's now coming. He's coming back to the north as well to be that box-to-box -box midfielder, that creative midfielder that I'm looking for. We've also got an inquiry for Harry Wilson. He's on on um, the transfer list. So hopefully, you never know, we might be able to get him in in the summer. We brought in also... Someone who I bought in last summer at Wrexham, who I wanted to see a little bit more, Danny Meller. So the 24-year-old striker, formerly of Manchester United, he could do a job. He knows how to score goals. So he will be a different option for me. But we also went back and bought Jack Vale. So someone who can play on the left, on the right, down the centre, the former... Um, Blackburn Rovers striker. So he's done well for me in the past, in the lower leagues. He wants to further his career. Let's get him in as well. Also, I've bought in former Newcastle Loney. Obviously, we've got to get his work permit done. But Santiago Munez. So he looks to be a good striker. He's got 19 goals and 33 games at his current club at the minute. So hopefully we can get him in do really well and give him hopefully a time at the northeast that he wanted we've also got jack wiltshire in there as a coach as well hopefully coming in so that's really good business to me i'm bringing in players that i know munez and trafford are going to be unknown entities for me to get into the action but who knows what we can do. Obviously, going out, we've got Craig Catcart. He's going out. He's leaving on a free and a youngster there. We've got several players on the transfer list. So the question is, what can we do going forward? We've got, at the minute, there is 38, 38, 9 games played. We are teetering eight points off the bottom. Um, hopefully that would be enough for us. But let's get in to my first home game of the season to see how we've done in that. And then we'll look at going forward. So guys, let's head over to the Stadium of Light for the highlights of Sunderland versus 17th place Huddersfield. Now you join me here at the Stadium of Light where 27,500 people have welcomed me to my first game. And 
it was a tough game against Huddersfield. They're fighting relegation as well. They're in the dogfight, but it's all Sunderland on the attack with the ball to the byline. Ball comes in, great save by the keeper, and it's turned in. Is it a goal? It's a goal. No, he's ruled it out for offside. So Sunderland's first attack, my first goal at home, has been ruled out for offside. Huddersfield have been in a different form, but lie. 17th at a minute trying to consolidate themselves into the season and they were a bit below par i would say well it's been literally i've come in i've hit the ground running at home trying to give them a good start here at sunderland but huddersfield on the attack looking to spray it get the ball in the box ball goes in little header and it's away but a lot of if you notice there i get a lot of intricate passing so it's something i've got to look at as well we can't be playing this ball out of defense like that balls again are just going wayward they're just giving the possession away look at that and what a mistake the ball short to the goalkeeper and it's letting the striker and morton has scored for huddersfield put them one nil up so i've got by looks of things i've got my work cut out for for me here um hopefully it's going to be a an opportunity shall i say to get this team further up the league but again we're on the back foot we shouldn't be starting on the back foot we should be going all out attack getting the options and it probably is they're not familiar to the system and that's one thing that i've, I've got to get in them that's one thing i've done at wrexham it started off slow but it come good in the end in with a throw there from Higgins out to Jordan Ayew actually is making a rare appearance and De Silva has probably been a shining light since I've joined in Epson and what a strike that was 25 yards bending it into the top corner cracking goal there just out of nowhere and that's probably something that Sunderland have been missing Ball gets literally down that left side. If you notice the way I played last season, or in previous seasons, they go for the corners to work the angles in. Ball goes in. Are you? Are you? Low drive. He scores. Jordan, are you? Gets on the score sheet. What a... That's 2-1 now. Really good football by Sunderland there. Bateman from the back. We're playing with Cat Car and Christ in the middle, and it was Christ's mistake to let in for the first. De Silva. Look at that. Jordan Ayu cutting in. Ball gets played up to Dean. Max Dean is on the run. Ball gets played in to Chapman. Chapman trying to look for ball across, and there's Dean. Dean, who's been on a barren patch, has finally scored, and it's a home goal. So that's built his confidence up. So it's 3 1 now. From the result and throw, it's going to be a long throw, long ball goes in, but it comes back out to into Higgins, ball goes in across, and it's in again. It's in again. Dean has got a second. Is it Dean? No, it's Epson after 45 minutes. Made it 4 1 at half time, and that was so nearly 4 2 there, but again, instead of clearing the ball out, it's pinged around. So Sunderland lead at half-time 4-1. What can we do in the second half now? This is fantastic. This is the performance that I want. Dean. Dean's got in around the back. He needs support. Garabri, I believe that's pronounced. A Man City alone. He's six foot five. I'd love to get him in on, on the team. Ball goes in across. Dean, he's in with a header. He's got a second. Dean has got a second. What a cross that was and he peeled off at the back just to get that header in it'd be a shame to lose him next season but this is the team we're working with so we've just got to carry on and look where we can improve for next season that's going to be the big the big pre-season but down the right hand side ball is played in and deans it again tries for that trick and it's saved jordan are you couldn't pick up the rebound but that's good play there by Sunderland. Really showing what they've got now. The corner. Corner gets played in. And it's cleared out. And it's going out for a throw. Again, on the attack. Down that right side. With Huggins. 
Huggins goes back. They're pushing forward. And Epson's in again. Epson, and it's saved by the keeper. So unlucky there. Ball gets kicked out long. And we just pick it up again. We're doing it again. Just picking up from the back. Cat Cart doing well. It's a shame that he's leaving, obviously, with the experience. But we need it. Epson's in. Epson, and it's narrowly past the post again. Epson is looking very threatening. He could be a player to watch next season. Again, from the throw, and refs called a penalty. It's a penalty to the Black Hats. Dean steps up, and he scores his hat trick. What a game that he's having. He's had a barren spell. That's his something like fifth goal of the season. So he's not been known for his uh, goal scoring, but it's an option. And the corner comes in from Huddersfield can it be broken up yes it can can we break can we get another goal here it's gone back to Dave De Silva De Silva again it's literally getting passed around looking for options it's going to be a tougher league for me and we've just got to get out of this relegation battle but their stupid mistake held on the ball too long ball gets played through in comes Huddersfield and Huddersfield have scored. Sunderland 6, Huddersfield 2. Good first home game. Now, what about that for a home game? Well, it's a start. And this is how we started the campaign. So we come in after Sheffield Wednesday's result uh, in the FA Cup. They got rid of their manager, uh, crankier and we come in with an away game against QPR who were quite near the top of the league and we lost 2-0 followed that by Brighton which we lost 1-0 and then you've just seen it the home game against Huddersfield which we won 6-2 and then we've just had an away game against Millwall which we've lost 3-1 so it's a bit of work to do Going forward, we've got, what's that, three, seven games left. And this is where I will run this season. I will get to the end of the season. I m might do the awards, or I might let you know what the awards are. But this will be all on my Twitter feed, these games. And then we'll hit pre-season brand new. But we've got a game against Bolton, Forest, Ipswich, Peterborough, Stoke, Sheffield United and Reading. Now, I know Ipswich have just changed their manager. That could be a winnable game. What's that? That's four home games, three away games. So if we continue like we did at home, who knows? In the league, in the league let's have a look at the league table just so we know where we are and see what we can do so we lie in 20th it's which we've got to play bolton we've got to play um stokes up there reddings up there they're going to be forced trying to fight for promotion so there's a, a good six points there we could win so on that being said this is now series sunderland till i die or when i get sacked now I'm part of the Sack Race, Sack Race Club. Um, let's get this season done. Let's hope for the best. Let's try and keep in the championship and go forward from there. Guys, no matter what you do, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, leave a comment. Tell me, how do you think I'm going to do at Sunderland? It's a shame that we've lost Wrexham. Let's have a quick, actually, quick look at Wrexham, where they are at the minute. So I left them... When they're in the playoffs, they're still in the playoffs. They're in third at the minute, so if they come up, that'll be interesting. Um, I did, I possibly could go for Freddie Pollock, get him in again, see if he will join, but who knows? No matter what you call it, football, soccer, football, remember, it's for the love of the game. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow my Twitter for more. I will see you next time.